Welcome to another video. I am Stacey York and in one week I will be starting a new position as a marketing coordinator here in Indianapolis, Indiana and I have no clothes. So basically I dress like a college student still even though I'm several years post-grad and I cannot wear sweatpants to work anymore. I can't do it. And that is what today's video is all about. I am going to be compiling a capsule wardrobe completely from scratch, hopefully coming in under $300. That's the plan for today. So I'm gonna be going to Goodwill, two different locations of Goodwill, Plato's Closet, Walmart, and Target, and I will hopefully be getting absolutely everything I need there. I do have a list of things that will be linked down below that I am looking to purchase today. So make sure to check that out if you are interested in also creating this capsule wardrobe. And hopefully I get lucky at the consignment stores and am able to come in way under budget, but we will see, I guess. So without further ado, let's go shopping. trip is a success definitely found a lot of stuff if you are not shopping at goodwill or secondhand stores like that please do it they have such good stuff and it's so cheap i'm not going to show you everything now because i'm going to do a whole haul at the end but let me just say i just bought some a bunch of stuff for 25 dollars including a pair of shoes that would have probably cost me 25 dollars just for the shoes so Shop at Goodwill. I'm gonna go and hit up another Goodwill that is next to the other stores that I want to go to today. So, gonna go to a second Goodwill. Hopefully it's as good as the first one. Also, going in with a list, game changing. Game changing, love it. I'm done. Just finished up at Target. And yeah, uh, I think it went well. I went, came in under budget. I did not get absolutely everything, but I did get a few extra items that were like maybe items. And yeah, I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna do a little fashion show for you guys. And I'm also gonna break down exactly what I spent, which I believe is under budget, but not really sure. Target was definitely a little bit expensive. I did get a little purse, which is crazy because I've never actually had a real purse before. So yeah, let's go home. I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm excited. I did definitely have a struggle trying on jeans. I literally have not bought jeans in years and I remembered why. Jeans don't fit my freaking legs. They're too tight on my legs, but then they're too loose in my waist because I got freaking big thighs over here and like a tiny waist. And they don't make jeans for people like me, which is just annoying. If you guys are also, you know, have that struggle, let me know what jeans you buy because it's so hard for me to find jeans that fit. And the only place I was able to even try them on was at Plato's Closet because all of the dressing rooms are still closed everywhere else. Luckily, I was able to try them on there and I did get one pair at Target that I might have to return. But anyways, gonna head home now. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I'm back and I am ready to go over everything that I got and go over how much everything cost. So first store I went to was Goodwill and I got 
These adorable little booties, love them so much. They were $7 and they fit perfectly. They're Dr. Scholl, so I think they should be pretty comfortable. Love them, they're in pretty good condition. I think maybe there's just like a few little like scuffs or whatever on them. So, I don't know. I think they're cute and definitely were $7. And then I got this denim shirt. I don't know what else to call this. I think there is another name for one of these guys, but yeah, it's just this cute denim shirt. There were so many of these that were really cute at that Goodwill and then also the other one that I went to. So I had like my whole pick of options on these. And I just think that this is just a good staple to have, so. And then I also got this puffer vest, which is not something that I originally had on my list, but it was something that I saw in a lot of capsule wardrobes. And I just think it's a good staple to have. The only issue that I saw with it was one of the pockets here does, like your hand sticks straight through it, but I just won't put my phone in that pocket, so I don't really care. And then I got this cardigan. I've always wanted a big cardigan like this, and I just think that this is super cute, and I'll be able to pair it with a lot of different things and also just use it kind of as more of a casual piece, which I did just want to say, I think where I'm working is not going to be like the most professional. Like we can wear jeans on Fridays and stuff, so I did actually get some jeans to wear on Fridays then, so I'm hoping that most of this stuff should work. Again, I'm completely new to dressing business casual, so I don't really know for sure how to do that. So it's gonna be kind of troubleshooting here at the beginning, but hopefully all of this stuff will be okay to wear. The cardigan and then the denim shirt were both $4.99, and then the jacket was, I mean the puffer vest was $5.99, and then the boots were $6.99 for a total of $24.57. I couldn't even get those shoes for $24 anywhere else. So shop at Goodwill. I love Goodwill. It's my favorite. Okay, so the next place that I went, where did I go next? I went to another Goodwill, but I didn't find anything at that Goodwill. Uh, they had a lot of stuff, but a lot of it was kind of the cardigans and the denim jackets, and there were some black booties there but I had already gotten those items, so there wasn't really anything else that was good. And also it's really hard not being able to try on jeans and not being able to return them at Goodwill because fitting rooms aren't open right now. So that just kind of made it so that I really couldn't buy jeans there unless I wanted to just take the hit if they ended up not fitting, which I'm really glad I didn't do because I ended up trying a lot on at Plato's Closet, which was the next place that I went and I did actually get some there. So I did go to Plato's Closet and I ended up getting these black oh, jeans. Wow. They're kind of leathery, which now that I'm like looking at them and kind of seeing them with everything else, I don't know if that was the best decision. So hopefully these will work with my wardrobe and I can wear them to work, but I don't really know yet. We'll see. But these were $18. Or were they $12? Shorts, I didn't get any shorts. These were $12, so I think that's a pretty good deal for jeans, even though these aren't really jeans, I don't really know what they are, but hopefully I can make these work with some outfits. If not, it's whatever, they were $12. And then I got some light denim. This is super out of my comfort zone. These are not skinny jeans. They are, I guess, straight leg jeans and they're pretty high-waisted, which I like high-waisted things, but sometimes they kind of like swallow me up, especially if they're kind of more straight because they don't really give me hips and then I'm just basically a box. So I think these are okay. Hopefully they look good with some things. Super out of my comfort zone. So we're trying it out with these guys. Hopefully it works out. These were $18, which definitely good for jeans. You cannot get jeans anywhere else for $18. And then I just got this shirt from Madewell. Um, I mean, I got it at Plato's Closet, but it's from Madewell. It's just a basic black t-shirt. Can't go wrong with a basic black t-shirt. And this was $10. And then I saw these, which I should have checked my list because I thought that the booties that I got at Goodwill were brown when I was in Plato's closet. So I got these because obviously these are black booties as well. So now I have two pairs of black booties, which I really don't need. And I really need a, black, a brown pair, but these are cute and they're definitely a different style. So I don't know, hopefully I can make both of them work for different things. And then I got some white tennis shoes. I don't have white tennis shoes right now. I think these are super cute. I plan on keeping them very clean. 
And Plato's Closet actually had two of these exact same shoes in my size right next to each other. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, hopefully I will be allowed to wear this kind of thing to work. Again, I'm not really sure how casual they are, but I will definitely get use out of these not at work. So it's whatever. They were $22, so I'll take it. Total for Plato's Closet is $81.32. So it's definitely a little bit more, but I got two pairs of jeans and two pairs of shoes for that. So with those two stores, we are up to $105.89. So doing okay so far. Two stores in, we're doing okay. I will say we spent some more in just a little bit. Uh, and then I did go to Walmart. I did just get bras there, so I don't really think that counts. I really needed bras. I haven't bought them in way too long, like a disgustingly long amount of time. So I just got some bras. I don't think that counts, but I think that ended up being like $30 or something like that. I got two. So there's that. And I went to Target. Oh, Target. Target. Okay. So I got some basic stuff at Target. I just got this striped t-shirt super basic i believe this was five dollars nothing too fancy but i can throw this under some things and hopefully make it look cute and then i got this big white t-shirt which i think i should have gotten a small in this i tried it on just a little bit ago um before i started filming this when i got home and i got a medium and it's kind of big on me like i know that white big shirts like this is kind of like a vibe but i don't really know if it's like a office vibe so i don't know on this one i'm gonna keep the tag on it for a little while and kind of decide on that one but it was 24.99 so it was like 25 dollars this i will definitely not be returning because i also tried this on and it's pretty cute it's just this basic cream uh sweater I think this could go great on top of outfits and underneath things and I just think it's really really cute so definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this I believe this was also $24.99 I think it was $25 I don't know why they didn't make it $24.99 but I think it was $25 and then I just got this basic white t-shirt very simple but good to throw on underneath things and then I got white jeans I have no idea how to style these, but it was part of a lot of capsule wardrobe, so I got them. Uh, they're super soft, and they were literally the only pair of white jeans at Target that were not plus size, so I scored because they were my size. And they're very soft, and I like them, but I have no idea how to style them. So if you guys have tips on how to style white jeans, or jeans in general, I don't know. I don't know how to style any of this stuff, so let me know. And then... I have never owned a real purse before, so this is a huge step for me. I just have never been a purse girl. I like, I don't know, backpacks and random tote bags. So I got this kind of tote style bag just because I wanted to be able to like throw my camera in here and like bring it with me to work. I don't know if I'll be filming at work, but I just want to have it with me and just to have a notebook and if I need to put a laptop in here, it's just perfect for that. And it looks cute and it really elevates outfits. So. I got it. I broke down. I'm now a purse person. We'll see if it lasts. That was $25, I'm pretty sure. 30. This was $30. And that actually brings me to the end. So if you don't include the bras, it's $235.34 for what I would like to consider for me personally, a pretty full wardrobe. I will probably be adding some different things in as I kind of figure out this whole business casual thing. But for now, this is everything. If you guys are interested in nine to five life and marketing and how I got into marketing after graduating from college with an environmental science degree, or just life in your 20s, life in Indianapolis, young married life, please stick around and subscribe to this channel. I am slowly growing here on YouTube and believe me every single one of you that subscribes or likes or comments it absolutely makes my day i get so excited when any of you do any of those things at all so if you're not subscribed already subscribe if you can please like this video it just makes my day when you guys like and seriously it makes me so happy when you guys comment even if it's like something stupid i don't care i want to interact with you guys i want to feel like this is a community 
So if you guys talk to me, I will definitely talk back to you and just have a conversation with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.